trip. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do, along with my wife, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Alex, you may take the hand of your bride. <laughs> you guys can come here and face, face me. We are gathered together on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Alex and Christine. We come together on this special day not uh, to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. This moment is a public affirmation of that bond. And as your dearest family and friends, it is our honor and our privilege to stand and witness to this event. Christine and Alex, first, I want to acknowledge that it's been a crazy year for everyone gathered here. Even though this moment may look a little different and even though plans have changed, you made it. You're here. And both of you are here because of your love and commitment to one another. And this day is made possible not only because of your love for each other, but through the grace and support of your family and friends. And it is our hope that your fulfillment and joy in each other will increase with each passing year. Christine, I still remember the first time we hung out. We were playing a board game during one of our family vacations. And I remember experiencing how competitive you were, but yet kind. <laughs> but one of the things that truly stood out to me about that trip was how much you loved being around Alex. And it was so evident that you and Alex are best friends. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and Alex has been amazing to see the man of God that you've become over the years. I remember meeting you for the first time when you were in middle school, which is a long time ago. <laughs> and at the time, I had just started dating your older sister. And one of the things that stood out to me about you was how kind yet protective you were of your sister. And I honestly love that about you. You protect and care those that you truly love and that you care for. And I've seen you also do this, when you, how you protect Christine. And marriage is so much more than just the next step in your relationship, right? It's a sacred bond between a man and a woman entered into before God and sustained by his mighty hand. So let's bow our heads together while we welcome God into this special moment. Lord, we thank you for gathering everyone here today. And we ask that you help Alex and Christine to remember the strong love that they share. We ask that you help them work that love into practical things so that nothing could divide them. And may their love always inspire them to be kind, considerate of others' feelings, and concerned for the others' needs and wishes. Lord, we ask that you increase their faith and trust in you. Bless their marriage with peace and happiness, and make their love fruitful for your glory and their joy. Amen. The Bible talks about love in a very specific way. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we read that love is patient, that love is kind, that love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. And it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. And I love this part. It says that, lover, that love never gives up. It never loses faith and is always hopeful and endures through every single circumstance. We also read in Ecclesiastes 4 that two people are better than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can you be warm alone? And a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Now that third strand in your life, and now the center of your marriage, must always be Christ. In life, the truth is you will encounter ups and downs. But with Christ as your foundation, you can be secure and know that he loves you deeply and he will take care of your needs, her needs, and your needs together. Alex, please repeat after me. I, Alex, take you, Christine. I, Alex, take you, Christine. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I give to you in the presence of God. I give to you in the presence of God. My promise to stay by your side. My promise to stay by your side. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In the good times. In the good times. And the bad. And the bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. <laughs> Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. To cry with you. To grow with you in mind and spirit to grow with you in mind and spirit and always be open and honest with you <laughs> and to always be open and honest with you and cherish you for as long as we both shall live and cherish you for as long as we both shall live Christine please repeat after me <laughs> I Christine take you Alex I Christine take you Alex to be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawful wedded husband I give you in the presence of God I give you in the presence of God my promise to stay by your side. My promise to stay by your side. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As well as through the good times. As well as in the good times. And the bad. And the bad. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to cry with you. And to cry with you. To grow with you in mind and spirit. To grow with you in mind and spirit. And always be open and honest with you. And to always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as both as we long. Damn. You got it. <laughs> and cherish you for as long as we both shall live.
I love it. I know. You got it. You got it. You got it. You did it. You're done. That was the last part. Yeah. Alex, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Christine, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Now having this love in your hearts, you have chosen to seal your vows by exchanging rings. The rings that you have chosen to wear neither have beginning nor end, much like the love that you have for one another. They are a symbol of the words that you speak today. And as you wear these rings, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises that you've made. You can have the rings. I'll take them right here. <laughs> Alex, take this ring and place it on Christine's left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. You may place it on her finger. Christine, take this ring and place it on Alex's left hand. Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. You may place the ring on his finger. Alex and Christine, from this moment forward, you will never be alone. You will carry with you the love of another person, giving you a completeness and a renewed lightness. And may your life together be immersed in love and excitement and adventure. May you strive to enrich each other in every possible way. And may this be a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally renewed every single day. And as you stand here before us, it is our hope that you will go through life loving, trusting, and caring for one another completely and forever. Now, having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love and honor and cherish one another in the presence of this gathering and by the authority vested in me in the Constitution and the laws of this state, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, may you kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Pedraza.
Give him a hand.
I believe the first thing I said to Alex when I first met him, I asked him if he was 18. I wasn't 18 at that time, and I, uh, you know, used a tobacco substance, but, you know, let that be by on. That will definitely be the first conversation I ever had with Alex. I know you remember that. He walked off field with his helmet. We all knew he was awesome. He was going to be the starting running back from the get-go. My only question, I was his guard. I blocked for him. My only question was if he was 18. I didn't care how good he was at running the football. It was the only thing I cared about. But uh, I will say, Alex, Christine, your wife, she's definitely out of your league. Uh, I was with you in high school, man, so I knew your high school girlfriend. Thankfully, none of them are here. Right? No, nope, we're good, thankfully. Okay, so she's definitely out of your league, brother. And uh, nevertheless, I'm happy for you. Um, but I will say, you've been there with me through some tough times. I know you know this song, brother. You played it in the car, so you picked up most of yes. And uh, it's a pretty big deal, brother. Uh, you know, I went through some tough times. That was the easiest time for me, but I will say, uh, after a couple of days, you came through. You know, you're always there for me, no matter what. And uh, I, I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, I can't thank you enough for that. And no matter what, you're always there for me, brother. And I'm always there for you, man. You, you, you don't get to pick your family, but you get to pick your friends. As far as I'm concerned, you're as big a brother to me as anyone else. Uh, no one, Alex, I will say I was hesitant to meet Christine. Um, <laughs> but uh, as soon as I met Christine, immediately everything he told me came to light. And as soon as I met her, I knew for a fact that she was the one. And no one else was better for you, brother. Um, Alex is one half of a guy, but I will say I loved him first, and he loved me first. So, <laughs> and, and, and y'all gonna spend a lot of time together, but just please keep that in the back of your mind, all right? <laughs> and with that being said, please everybody raise a glass to Alex and Christine. I want to wish you may your life be filled with many blessings, and I hope you have a great one, brother. <laughs> Come to dinner with us, movies, 
hanging out. He's a dog that's a boxer named Nikki. Everybody knows how much we love boxers. So you've really been a, you've been a part of the family. It's been wonderful. You guys are fantastic together. We're so happy that we are joining this family. And really the thing going forward for you is I know that you two are going to start your own family, right? There's the goal of the job thing here. Really, there's a new thing starting. I'm really happy for that. You're too too for that. And, and last, and last, and after I'm done, I promise that we can do a thing, what, garter bouquet and then dancing. So I'll get off the stage. So for Christine, um, this has been phenomenal. It's been years in the making. And uh, the dress was hanging in my, in my closet for about a year and a half. Two. Two years. <laughs> so, um, because although this is the second time, the first time she wore a very simple dress. And I wanted to shout out for uh, Tammy's mom, who can't be here with us, who's a seamstress, because I love the dress. It looks so beautiful. When I saw you do that special turnaround thing for me, I'm going to always remember it. You're a princess. You look beautiful. I'm so proud of everything you've done, all you've accomplished with your, your job and your business, and being, what, the number one search Google <laughs> Etsy thing for Lily Pulitzer yeah, sorority t shirts. <laughs> Start your own business. Uh, you know, social marketing is turned on to the business, and you guys really have the foundation for something beautiful. And I know that you don't think here now, it sounds too future and fantastical to be true, but I hope some point, 25 or so years from now, you'll be the ones up here talking, and you'll have somebody you'll be talking to, and you'll see all your loved ones sitting around. And I wish that for you, I wish all the best, all the love. You guys are phenomenal. Here's to Christine and Alex. Alex and Christine, thank you. Yeah.
Let's go.